Thank you for joining me today. I am coming to you live from my car because I wanna share with you some tips that can keep you safe while you are out on the road. Whether you are with people or alone, this is important either way. So please share in this time with me. So join me, hop in my car. I have a seat right here for you. And I'm gonna show you, a f well, first before I get into some tips on how you can help escape if you are trapped in your vehicle, if you have an accident, I want to ask you, please share this out with your friends. Make sure that they see this because this could be a lifesaver. Guys, pretty much every life that I do can save your life. So share this out with your friends. I want to make sure that everybody stays safe. Everybody deserves a fighting chance. Okay. So share this with your friends. Make sure, add them to the group. Make sure that they see this video. Before I get started into that, though, I want to introduce myself. My name is Kathy Card. I am your personal safety coach with ClassyDefense.com, and I am here to help you find different ways to stay safe, okay? Whether it's safe from assaults, attacks, domestic violence, um, or in other areas of your life, such as while you're out in the road, while you are traveling. I have some great videos on all of this, but right now we're talking about when you're on the road. Now, there are two things I want to bring up to you before I really, really dive in. This, I wasn't planning on talking about these two items, but I'm like, you know what? I have to mention them. The first thing is, if you have a passenger, because drivers, this isn't something that you can do, and hopefully, ladies, I don't think anybody in this group does this, but I want to bring it up because if you have kids or young friends or your children have friends that do this, okay? Maybe we did this when we were younger, and I'm sure those days are over, but please don't put your feet up on the dash, okay? Not only is it unsightly, it's very, very dangerous, extremely dangerous. Does anybody, okay, if you're watching this, I'm gonna pause after I ask this question. If you're watching this, guess how fast, type below how fast an airbag deploys, okay? If you get into an accident and you have your feet up on that dashboard, okay, and your airbag deploys, how fast do you think that it is coming at you, okay? I'm going to pause for just a second because it is a heck of a lot faster than you think, okay? Um, you could for sure break your legs, okay? You could crack the orbital bone in your eye as your knee comes back hitting you. One of my team members is a claims adjuster and has horrible story, stories and says that she stopped doing it years ago when she first did her first claim. And I'm gonna spare you what happened to that person, okay? But their legs went flying back. It just starts with that, okay? But you could definitely break your orbital bone. You could end up in physical therapy for an eternity, okay? Just please don't do it. All right, here's the answer. The airbag comes at you at 1 20th of a second. That's faster than the blink of an eye. Bam, done. See it again? There we go, watch. Bam, airbag, hit you. Broken bones broken legs. Don't do it. Okay. Now this, <laughs> share this also with somebody, you know, who does this. Okay. So I can say, stop doing it. Nobody wants to see your stinky feet sticking out the window or up on the dash, but we also don't want to see you with broken bones and broken facial bones. Okay. So please, we really do care. Please, 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 please. From your mama's heart and mine, stop doing it. Okay. Tip number two, before we dive into getting on the road, you see this little guy right here. Okay. For many, 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 many years, I had it up here on my, well, I'll just take it down anyway, because I'm taking it inside. <gasps> just gave it away. I had this, my garage door clicker, okay, on my car um, visor, as many of us do, okay? Why is this not a good idea? Do you know? It is not a good idea because this is an open access invitation to anybody to enter your home. All they need to do is break into your car, grab your clicker, come in at nighttime or when you're not at home, okay? They can walk right into your home. So on that note, I do have a habit, like 100% habit. I always lock the door that goes into my garage from my house to make sure that's not gonna happen. And we do have something blocking the side door, the entry to the garage from the, the outside of the house. But um, please never leave your clicker in your um, car. I know it's a hard habit to stop doing. Oh, let's see, we are losing. Okay, are we back? I think we're back. My connection was not good. Let's make sure. I think we're back, okay. It's a hard habit to stop, okay? Because it's so convenient, but keep it in your purse, 
okay? You don't want to risk that, especially when your cars are sitting out for a long time or you know overnight when they can break in and get it and just come back at another time and you may not notice right away that it's gone, all right? Okay, so those are the two add-ons, bonus add-ons that you got for today. Now, I am going to share with you why we are really here in my car. And I came out to the car just for you. I'm not going anywhere today. I wanna share with you a life-saving tool that is my absolute favorite tool in the company, okay? This tool is called the road trip, okay? The road trip can save your life. I'm sorry the words are backwards because if I flip my screen for some reason, it's turning me green and I don't know why it's doing that. So this is the road trip. The road trip is an auto emergency tool. What's important about this, well, everything is important about it, but I want to make sure that you keep this right here in your center console. Okay, do not put it in your glove compartment. Do not put it in the side of your door. If you have a rollover, it could be anywhere in your car by the time it's done. And um, if it's in your glove compartment, you won't be able to reach it. Why, Kathy, why won't we be able to reach our road trip? <laughs> because if you have an accident, one of the first things that happens is your seatbelt locks. Oh, I should have put mine on so I could show you. I wasn't gonna cut my seatbelt, but then I could show you how to do it. So my, I'm in the driver's seat right now. My seatbelt would be right here if I had it buckled. I'm not driving, I just came out to sit in my car to make this video for you. Um, but you would, the first, so the first thing that happens is your seatbelt locks, right? So right here, right there, we have a seatbelt cutter, okay? Little fingers can't get in there, so don't worry about the kids, they'll be safe. You wanna cut your seatbelt here, or you can cut it down below at your waistline, okay? It's designed to cut at an angle like this. Cut yourself out of the car, cut your passengers out of the car. I actually keep one of these in the back seat as well for my kids, because heaven forbid I get knocked out and can't help them. They're gonna be locked and they won't be able to, um, you know, get to the center console. So, first cut your seatbelt out, then what do we have? <gasps> we have a window punch, okay? This is not a hammer style, so you don't need to be hammering at your window. It doesn't take a lot of muscle. It is a, a punch style, so in that hole right there is a needle that's gonna pop out and shatter your window when you press it against. So, I'm gonna show you, let's see if I can flip this around. I don't think that I can flip it while I'm on now. Okay, so we'll just turn it around like this. Where you want to put it on your window is, let's see, can you see here on the corners? I'm not going to actually do it because my husband would kill me, but on any of the four corners here, the upper corner, the lower corner, okay, either side, you want to take that, you want to press, press it into the window, that needle's going to come out and shatter it, okay? Then if you need to, you can kind of swipe it with your window to... Um, and bring it all the way down but this is an amazing tool guys you need to have one in your car for you or if you and the people in your car and also for witnesses uh, accidents that you witness i used to ask i can't speak i used to witness so many accidents that it was ridiculous and this was before um this was invented now that it is i have had to loan it into two accidents so um you know that made me feel good to be able to do that but i always have this in my car if i go on trips i make sure that that person has it in their car too if i'm driving in someone else's car all right, so what else is on here? But wait, there's more. We have the window punch and the seatbelt cutter. Then once you're out of your car, you have a two level flashlight. That's, we have a super bright, regular, and a strobe. So that when you're out of the car, you can signal for help with your strobe light. You can walk to safety. And there's two more things I'm gonna show you, but let me hop out of the car to do that. Oh. All right, come with me. On this beautiful Southern California day. I'm absolutely loving it out here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and it has a flashing beacon. Let's see, can you see? I know it's very bright out here right now. On both sides of this, there's a flashing beacon so that you can also signal for help that way and an alarm. Whoop, wrong button. Okay, hopefully you can hear that. It's pretty, really, really um, loud. And magnets on the head. So you can put it up on top of your car and it'll stick there, see, to signal for help. Now, the side of my car happens to be uh, metal as well, which is nice. All cars aren't that way, so I could put it here so that those on the side of the road can see where I am. I can put it anywhere on my car that is metal. So this is a hugely important tool, guys, for those of you that are on the road a lot or... <laughs> You don't even have to be on the road a lot, but if you are, it's extremely handy, okay? But no matter what, every driver in your home and every person that you know needs to have one of these. So if you have a graduate coming up, 
please get one of these for their graduation present and put it in there because if they're going away to college or moving away they need to have something so they can um, help themselves because do you know let me turn my beacon off do you know how long it takes for um, uh, the fire department to extricate you if you are trapped in your car it can take 20 minutes to, to completely extricate you from your car. That is not something that you want to have to wait for, okay? That is a long time. That's the best that they can do though with the tools. And that doesn't count the time it takes for them, the call to go out and them to get there. How many minutes went by from the moment that somebody, from the accident to somebody realizing to call for you to the help arriving, okay? So you need to be your own first responder. And this is not just about car accidents, this is about everything, your personal safety, assaults, anything like that, okay? So that's the road trip. That's the first thing that I wanted to show you. Huge, huge, hugely important, guys. Please get one, great gift, gender neutral packaging. I know our company is called Damsel in Defense, but it's gender neutral packaging, it's great. Father's Day is coming up in June, so that would be a wonderful thing for them too. Now, in the back of my car, I have something else I'm gonna show you. This right here, my friend, is called the junk in the trunk, okay? Now, the junk in the trunk is important to have in the back of your car. And by the way, right here, these are Velcro strips so that it can stay on your carpet so it doesn't slide all over your vehicle. But let me show you what's inside of here. Okay, here we are. Feast on this. Now, let's say you're um, having car issues, you're battery dies, it's pouring rain, right? Oh my gosh, it's, I don't wanna get soaked. I have my work clothes on, right? It's pouring rain, my battery's dead. I have to go out and jump my car or I need to put something out so people don't hit me, right? I need to let the world know that I'm here so they can drive around me. This has so many tools in it, guys. You're gonna love it. Okay, for those of you that live in the snow, we have a snow scraper here. In California, I call it a sand toy because <laughs> That's what we use it for, <laughs> but it's really a snow, an ice scraper. Um, did I say snow scraper? And I see I live in California, an ice scraper. I have gotten to use it twice. It was quite exciting for this California girl, but the rest of you will know, and it works, worked fantastic, so that was fun. Now, if it is raining, we've got your rain ponchos, right? We don't want you getting soaked. We have, heaven forbid you're truly stuck out there, an emergency blanket, okay? We have, waterproof matches. We have a first aid kit for you. We have, let's see, what am I gonna show you next? There are so many things. Ah, I'll show you this. Right here, a great headlamp so that if you are in the hood of your car trying to work with your engine, this is fantastically bright light. We have really high quality jumper cables here with instructions, ladies, okay? So you don't have to fret <laughs> if you don't know how to do it. So these are really, really nice jumper cables. And this, this is not just for women, okay? This can be for men too, trust me. Both buy it. I'm a little dark in here, right? Okay, then we have a, um, an air pressure gauge for your tires. We've got a two-in-one tool here that uh, you can pull the metal piece out and it flips around and you have two tools in one. Let's open this up here. This is really great too. This is not the one I put the batteries in, oh no. Okay, well this has a number of different settings with flashing lights, strobe lights, all kinds of different things. So this is fantastic. Has a magnet again on it so that you can put it, affix it anywhere you need to. And if you see right here, has a little hook so you can hang it in your car in case you need to um, you know, have light for yourself for something, okay? So if you're working in the car, again, you can have your headlamp or you can have this, you can hang it or set this on the side of your car. Really great tool. And then we have this. Okay, I can't get it out with one hand <laughs> because of that. But you put this triangle together and there are, um, and this uh, will, again, let people know where you are. It will let them see you better, okay? And then we have bungee cord, which always comes in handy. And the last thing, my friends, kill time cards. Because when you are stuck on the side of the road, waiting for help to come, we don't, you don't need to be bored, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're in you're in enough trouble so you may as well enjoy yourself and play some solitaire or play some cards with the with the people that are with you so this guys this is the junk in the trunk there is so much to it 
This is our brand new version that we just came out with. They increased the value and lowered the cost. So this is really, really nice. Another fantastic gift for anybody you know who is graduating. And this is for, you know, again, men or women. This can go either way. So don't think that just because we are damsel in defense, it is not for women only. This is for men and women, but it's really important that you take care of yourself when you're out there, that you know how to handle your situations, that you can help yourself escape from the car if you need to, that you can um, handle your roadside emergencies with this great kit right here. Okay, and if you don't have one, message me. I'm happy to connect you with this one, or you can go to classydefense.com and get one for yourself. It's called the junk in the trunk. If you have something like it, that's fantastic. I applaud you. Okay. Just make sure you have something in your car, whatever it is. There's one more thing I want to show you. So I'm going to hop in my car really quickly because this is where it applies. Hold on. I've got my road trip from earlier in my pocket. Let's take that out. We're going to put that back in the center console. But so what I want to show you, okay. Again, this was something that I wasn't planning on talking about, but I want to do briefly because it's really important. Now, crime happens, doesn't happen in any particular place. It can happen anywhere that you are, right? So I want to make sure to address it because it can go down while you are in your vehicle. If you're stopped at a traffic light, okay, I've heard plenty of stories of things, people approaching your car that way. Um, I live in the Los Angeles area. <laughs> goodness knows there are carjackings, right? That go around. We see them on the news all the time. I am a former television producer and reporter. And trust me, I've seen my share of criminals that are evading the police. They're in, in a pursuit and they uh, jump out of their car and into another car and comedy or someone else's vehicle. And that person, sometimes they kick them out. Sometimes they shove them over and you may be stuck in that car. So you want to be able to protect yourself, not just from that situation. That's <laughs> a dramatic situation. I know but anything can happen. What if you are on a date that goes bad, okay? What if you are, um, you may know Uber drivers, okay? Lyft drivers, things happen to them while they're in their vehicles too. So wanna make sure you have something to protect you. Now, this is where I wanna say, as I discussed in uh, prior videos, our pepper spray that we offer is amazing, top notch, but when you're in a confined space, like a car or an elevator, pepper spray is not your friend because when you spray it, you will suffer the effects too. So it's really important that you know that. Okay. Now, if that's the only tool that I had, I would use it, but that's a personal choice. Okay. I know that I can hold my breath and there's no surprise factor because I know I'm about to do it. So my, um, my head, you know, my mind is in the same, in the right place because I know that, um, I will suffer less than they will. And if you are in that kind of struggle where you need to spray, there's probably some heavy breathing going on as you're struggling so that person will be sucking it all in while I'm holding my breath and jumping out of the car. <laughs> but anyway, but that's not your tool of choice when you're in a confined space like a car. Instead, I would recommend having a stun gun, okay? Now, right now I have it sitting here. I keep it in my purse at all times, but if you want, a lot of people like to sit it in their cup holder in their car so that it's ready to go. If you are an Uber or Lyft driver and you don't want to have it that exposed, you can always just tuck it kind of between your legs or under your leg or someplace nearby uh, the door of your car, okay, um, so that you can grab it if needed because, you know, again, spraying a pepper spray, it's going to get everybody in the vehicle, um, but a stun gun, right, is for close range. So if somebody's grabbing you from behind, you can come up and zap them right there in their arms or their their neck or wherever need be that you can get if they're right here you can do the same thing okay excellent 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 tool always has the disable pin that's all of ours offer that so that uh, if they grab it from you it'll disarm it so they can't stun you highly recommend it guys please visit classydefense.com to learn more or message me and i'm happy to help you find the tool that's right for you okay but i these are part of my must-haves the road trip and the stun gun as you saw are my must-haves and then i have right here with me i will show you i have right here uh, my pepper spray on a pretty breakaway keychain and the purpose of the breakaway so i can yank it right off hopefully you were able to see that so i couldn't see i can yank it right off and spray it, okay? That way if anything goes down and I need to use a spray, I can. But now when I'm out of my car, I can clip it back on and then when I'm out of my car, I can just keep it on the out, clip it on my keys, stay, keep it on my keys or clip it to the outside of my purse or a dog leash as I've shared in other videos. Totally up to you what you would like to clip it to, but this breakaway keychain makes it uh, 
really, really quick and easy. All right, guys, stay safe out there, stay healthy. And if you would like more of these tips, please join me in my private Facebook group called A Classy Defense. I will share the link with you, but it's called A Classy Defense on Facebook. It's a private group where I have some great videos coming up on how to stay safe while cruising, how to stay safe while traveling and airports. All kinds of different videos are in progress. They've been shot. They're being edited. How to stage your home, which may or may not appear soon. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I hope that you find this helpful. And please share it with your friends and share uh, the group with them as well because everyone deserves to be safe. I am Kathy Card, your personal safety coach. Thank you so much for joining me right now. I am honored that you chose to spend this these minutes with me getting yourself equipped right here and hopefully in your hands so that you can stay safer. All right, have a wonderful day.